Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at some of the weirdest shit this community is talking about. I may be a little late on this, but I wanted to give my opinion and out on it because I feel like people are not being fair to the day one raid emblem. So if you guys don't know, basically, a lot of people are saying that this raid didn't seem that hard, that a lot of too many people got the day one raid emblem and the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that we had two weeks to prepare for this so that means that people that were not streamers or youtubers could essentially race with everyone and still be on par we had a lot of people that were doing the day one raid that were of level and there was no way to cheat like other content creators have done in the past like I'm not going to point out names, but you guys should know that certain content creators would take advantage of certain bugs in the game to power level their way up to be at a point where power level didn't really matter. So we don't bash them for doing that, yet we're bashing people who got the day one emblem because they have two weeks to grind for level. Like I really don't understand like where most people's thought process comes to to mind because i did the day one raid and it wasn't fucking easy at all and let me remind you this is the first raid that we've had that we've ever had builds with so if you guys don't know we have the charged with light builds we have the warm mind builds all of those in tandem together really made this raid not super easy mind you like it was still hard but it was definitely not a worry like I definitely didn't worry about trash mobs I definitely didn't worry about them and it's one of those things if I can if my team can survive longer we can figure out the mechanic longer so it was easier in a sense that we didn't have to worry about trash which meant that we could only folk we only needed to focus on the mechanics themselves which I understand that but at the same time, you also have to understand we had two weeks to level and we had builds that we had. I had a, a charge with light build, which essentially meant that I didn't go down easily. I had extra damage. I had a lot of things in my fingertips and that really, really helped, especially like the second phase boss. The only reason we took them down is because we have Lucent Blade. That helped us get that extra damage out. There's a lot of things that I can tell you why this raid felt easier. It definitely wasn't easier. I'm not comparing this to Last Wish, obviously. Last Wish was its own monster. Last Wish is probably still going to be the best raid experience. But you can't tell me the, the, the Last Wish raid was like the most honorable because... Let's face it, the people who got world first, they got it through a bug of leveling, which is why they didn't feel the level cap as hard as they did. Granted, they still if I remember correctly, it still had contest modifier, but they were the highest ones from like most people. So this I feel like this one was a lot more fair to pretty much everyone. But I just don't understand where the thought process is. Oh, this just it was easier and all this. It's like, well, it's it Professor Broman really explained it well in one of his videos where he just said it's easier because you're you're getting better and I completely empathize with that because it wasn't that it was easier it's just that I knew what to do more I it's it's not my first raid I've raided before obviously and it got to a point where we just had to think all right what would Bungie do for this new mechanics we figured out the first phase pretty fast not gonna lie the second phase we figured it out super fast we just had to get the mechanical skill into it as in like not fuck up and then we got to a point where we actually had to pass that G dps check because at one point we were not doing enough damage to the boss which meant that we were essentially dying and it's the same thing for the boss as well. It was mostly a DPS check at, at the final part. The mechanics weren't hard, but they weren't easy either. They were right in the middle, minimum or middle. 
But to say that this raid was so easy and that a lot of people didn't deserve that day one emblem is completely, completely far-fetched. Like this, this raid was still hard. It, and I don't want to call out the, the specific person who made that tweet, but let me just say this. If the game is easy for you, switch a game, bro. Play WoW. Do do a World of Warcraft raid day one. Do that. If it's that easy for you. Because I can guarantee you a lot of people got really fucking burned out from that one tweet. The fact that he called out that it was just easy. And it really devalued a lot of people's hard work. Which is really fucked up. Especially on a day one raid. I don't care who it is, if you got a day one raid, that's fucking cool. That's dope. And if you didn't, hey man, next one, you'll get the next one. But if you're one of those assholes who are saying this raid was easy and all this other shit and you still haven't even done the raid yet or you didn't even participate in day one raid, then can you really talk? Because at least the people who failed tried it. And you can't even tell me, oh, it's because I don't have a team. Find a fucking clan. Find a fucking LFG. It's just really weird, like, that people are really saying such shit like this on a day one raid. When this has been probably one of the most fair raids I've ever seen. But because we didn't have a crazy ass moment like Redeem finally figuring it out and getting the last hit. Like, it, honestly, it just feels like people are mad that Redeem just didn't win. And it's just like, really, bro? Like... This is why we can't have nice things, bro. Because Destiny community just does dumb shit like this. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is probably going to be a really quick video. I really just wanted to talk about that, really. Uh, where, where's your stance in all this? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, links are in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for the support. And other than that, I will see you guys later.